Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a lobby bot that has any name that you want as the name. And you can get this lobby bot on any platform, including PC, mobile, and consoles. And this is working in chapter two, season seven, and you'll be able to use all of these skins from chapter two, season seven, and all the leaked skins like the Thanos skin and just any skin in the entire game. Let's try to get this video up to 200 likes. That'd be really amazing if we could hit that goal. And let's get right into the video. So the first thing we want to do is join our Discord server to get the spot. And the link is discord.gg slash xlgamerbros. Um, I also have a link in the description if you just want to click on that as well. So once you're in the server, the next step is you want to go down to your settings. And this will also work on mobile. And then you want to go over to your privacy area. And you want to make sure that this thing is ticked to green and make sure that you have direct messages allowed from server members. Otherwise, this will not work. So once you've made sure of that, you can go down here, go down here to the create atomic section, and then you just want to type in a start right here, and then it'll delete your message. And that's how you know you did it correctly. And now you shall wait about five seconds and you'll see that atomic bot will DM you. So once atomic bot DMs you, just click on the DM and it'll do this. So on this embed, there'll be two links and you just wanna click on the first link up here. So all this thing does is it takes you to epicgames.com. So what you wanna do is if you have not already, you wanna create yourself an alt account. So if you're not logged in, just click on the sign in button. So what you wanna do is click on the sign up button down here and then you can just sign up with any of these. And then what you want to do is once you get over to this page um, in the sign up process, you want to type in the name that you want your lobby bot to be in this display name area. So let's say we wanted our lobby bot to be called uh, Atomic Bot uh, Video or something. Um, then that's what we would call it. We put that in this display name section and we just call it Atomic Bot Video and you can use that for your bot. So once you've filled out all of these things, you can click continue, just create your entire account, and I'll show you guys what to do once you create your alt Epic Games account. All right, so once you create your Epic Games account, you'll see it in the top right over here. It'll say your Epic Games account name that you created, and again, this is me an alt Epic Games account, so make sure you're not using your main. So once you've made sure that you're logged into Epic Games, just go back over to the Discord, and then click on the second link. So what this one's going to do is it's going to send you to a page that looks like this and it'll say use Diesel Dauntless with your Epic Games account. And then right before you click on allow, you want to make sure that you're logged into the correct account down here. Make sure you're not using your main account. Make sure you're using an alt account as you don't want to lobby bot on your main account because you won't be able to use it. So just make sure you're on your alt account right over here and then click on allow. And then if it says confirm, do the exact same thing. So once you're in this area, you just want to click on the check mark after you've clicked on allow or confirm. And then it will do this. It'll say that you have a lobby bot ready as Atomic Bot Video or whatever your lobby bot is called, and your bot will be ready to be used in Fortnite. So the next step is you want to friend the bot account in Fortnite. So we're gonna go over to Fortnite and we're gonna friend the bot account. So go over to your friends and then just type in your bot account name. My bot account name is called Atomic Bot Video, so we're just gonna type in that. And then click on the friend, add them as a friend, and then they'll automatically accept your friend request. So there you go, it has automatically accepted the friend request, and I can go back over here. So just click on it, click on invite to party, and then you go back over to Discord, and it'll do a pop up that says, Should I accept the invite? So just click on the check mark and then it will join your party. So you guys can see we have the lobby bot in our party now and everything is good. So now you have your bot running, you can do all the commands on it. So you'll see that there's two sections. One of them is the cosmetic commands and one of them is the utility commands. So the cosmetic commands will let you change things like skin, emo, backpack, pickaxe, and level. And that's pretty much what they do. And then the utility commands do things like readying up, saying messages to the party, and changing the party privacy. So stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of the commands. I'm not going to do all of them because that would take way too long, but I'll show you guys the important commands and the ones that people are usually the most confused about. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the skin command first. So the command for that one is a skin, and then you're going to type in the skin name. So let's say that we want the Rick Sanchez skin. We type in Rick Sanchez, just like that, and just click on enter. So what that's going to do is it's going to change the Lollibot skin to Rick Sanchez and you'll see that we have the Lollibot skin as Rick Sanchez. So another useful command is hiding the bot. So what this is going to do is it's going to hide you from the party and it'll look like you are the bot. So this is really useful for stuff like TikToks and YouTube videos and just pretty much anything that you want to troll people with. 
So just click on the bot, click on manage and promote it. And then once the bot is the party leader, just go back over here and then type in a hide. And what that's gonna do is it's going to hide all the other party members from your party. So you'll see that now you can only see the lobby bot in your party. So again, this is really great for stuff where you just wanna troll people. So the next command that I'm gonna be showing is the emote command, and this will let you do any emote in the entire game. So if we go to the battle pass, we can choose any emote from the battle pass. So we can do this one. This one's called the Vulcan Salute, and we can do that one with the bot. So if you go back over here, you're gonna type in A emotes, and then you're gonna type in Vulcan Salute. And then once you type that in, it'll change your emote to the Vulcan Salute, and we will have Rick Sanchez doing the Vulcan Salute in our lobby. And this will also work with any emote, so I'll just do another example. We can do the flossing emote, so you type in emote floss, and then it will do the flossing emote. So this will again work with any emote, all the leaked emotes as well. Same thing with the skin, it'll work with any of the leaked skins, and anything like that. So if you want to do a leaked skin, we'll do a Thanos skin. So we can do a skin Thanos, and then that will change us to the Thanos skin. And then you can see that we have the leaked Thanos skin in our lobby, or at least it's leaked for now. I'm not sure if it'll be in the item shop by the time this video comes out. But as of right now, the Thanos skin is leaked, so you guys can see that we have the Thanos skin in our lobby, and that is pretty cool. So the next one that I'm gonna be doing is the backpack command. So for this one, you're just gonna type in a backpack. And then you're gonna type in the backpack name. So I'm gonna be typing in the ghost portal. And then this one will change it to the ghost portal backpack. And you can't see it right now, but if he did do an emote, he would have the ghost portal backpack. So now if you wanna get different styles for skins, like the black version of Superman, like the shadow version of Superman or something like that, then I'll show you guys how to do that. So if you want to get the shadow style of Superman, you want to type in A style Clark Kent. And then what this is going to do is it's going to give you all the styles to choose from. So if we want the Superman version, we're going to type in Superman. And then the next one will be the colors. So this is the page two of the styles and the color will be the shadow color. So if you type in two again, this will change it to the Superman and it'll change it to the shadow. So now if you go back over here, you'll see that we have the Shadow and the Superman version of the Clark Kent skin. So that's just how variants work. If you need any help, just DM me and I'll be happy to help you guys with any problems that you're having with the variants. So there's two other things that are really useful that people will sometimes ask about. So these two things are the Purple Skull Trooper and the Pink Ghoul Trooper. So you can either do this by doing A style and then something like Skull Trooper. So this is the first way to do it, is to get the purple skull trooper, just type in two and that will equip the purple skull trooper. Then the final thing I wanna say is that the bot is now verified. Officially, I got it verified um, about a week ago. So in the previous video, everyone was asking me how to invite it, how to invite it, but it was at its limit. But now since it's verified, you can invite it to as many servers as you want. So if you wanna invite the bot to your own servers, just simply say a invite and that'll give you the link right here. Just click on this link and it'll let you invite it to your own Discord server. All right guys, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully this helped you guys out with your trolling and anything that you wanna do with your lobby bot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.